Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And today we're going to ramble about Tesla, and how much it costs, and maybe the worst way of buying one, at least maybe not according to this article, <laughs> which is from CNBC. Make it. Make it happen. Well, I don't know. I don't think uh, the majority of this of us would be able to make this happen, but this 29-year-old, must be nice, bought a $60,000 Tesla with a credit card and earned an estimated $5,000 in rewards. And you're probably thinking, hmm, how much in interest is this kid going to pay for that? Well, let's jump right in here. So, this is Keith Rosso. Apparently, he took this picture, too. Oh, he's he's holding something there. I don't know. Maybe that's, his, maybe that's the key. Or that might be the card he's using. Or that's a remote control for a drone that he's using to take the picture. I don't know. And that's his wife. Liz with their Tesla Model, Model 3. Anyway, often, if using your credit card means incurring a fee, it's better to pay another way. Why spend more than you need to? But in some cases, the fee might be outweighed by the rewards. That was the case for 29-year-old Keith, who recently used a credit card to buy a Tesla with his wife for a total of 58, well, basically $60,000, including taxes and fees. If you use credit cards responsibly, yeah, that's like, I would say maybe 1% of the population would use a credit card responsibly. In the end, people try to use a credit card responsibly, but stuff happens. I mean, come on. How many times, I mean, how many times you try to use a credit card with good intentions and it works out, but then something happens? It's it's it hap it seems to happen to every one of us. The best way the best way to play is to not play. Just don't get a credit card. That's the situation that my wife and I are in it, are in. Uh, we got to a point where we don't have credit cards now, and we will never get another one. We're done. <laughs> We're done. That'll be a topic for a whole nother video. Anyway, um, how did he do this? How did he make the magic happen? All right. Well, although Tesla wouldn't let Rosslo, Rosso, Rosslo, Rosso purchase the car directly with his credit card, they accepted the payment through Plastique. Uh, what is Plastique? Let's take a look at that. This is Plastique.com. All right, get a financial, financial leg up with Plastic. Pay with credit cards where cards are not accepted for a simple 2.5% fee. So that is how he did it. He took a step onto this yellow thing. He had to make sure he was wearing a yellow shirt or something. Um, they said, oh, you can't see it. <laughs> Hold on. Well, that was not the right button. There it is. See? He was stepping, stepping up, wearing a yellow jacket and stepping on the top step, which has a yellow, yellow, or he stepped on it and it turned yellow or something. Okay. So I'm back. Kind of helps if I make myself disappear. So that way, maybe I should permanently make myself disappear. That might be what some people are saying. Anyway, so you can use, uh, well, you can't see it. Maybe I should move this over. See, Visa or MasterCard, Discover, American Express, JCB, blah, 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 all this other stuff. 
Um, all right, how it works. Let's see how it works. This is not an advertisement. I don't work for Plastique, but this is just for the purposes of this article. So your recipient doesn't need a plastic account. Just tell us name, bill, blah, blah. Char plastic charges your card. Okay, so you make your charge through this plastic. They charge your card. So I guess they act like they act like the middleman. So this place pays your bill. They pay, they pay, uh, so they pay the bill, you pay them, basically. And that's it. This is your guy right here. This is you. Oh, hold on. You can't see him. <laughs> you can see my mouse though. Okay. So here you are. He needs a yellow shirt. All right. This is you sitting here. You might have a beard, you may not. You might have glasses, you may not. You might be a woman, that, that's possible. You might, I, okay, this is, that's right. We're in, the, we're in the 2010s, so you might identify yourself as a man. You might identify as a woman. It, it depends upon the day of the week. Um, you might be gender fluid, who knows. So this is you. Whoever you are, this is you. All right, this is the plastic representative he's going to take your information and he's going to say all right i'm going to pay that bill and get that tesla for you you just give me your credit card information and we will charge your credit card but we're going to charge you a 2.5 percent fee okie dokie i understand that pay fast direct right? as i choke Pay fast, direct the vendors. Hi! I'm back. Okay. Whoa! What's that? That's not the right... That's not the right frame. All right. We're professionals here on, on Chef Rambles, by the way. Okay, so... We're back on this uh, article here. So... The trick with... The Tesla purchase is the card I used, the Chase Link Business Preferred. I don't think we need to. Oh, what the hell? There's a link. <laughs> <laughs> Creditcards.chase.com, right here. All right, this is the Chase Link Business Preferred. Eighty thousand bonus points. All right, here you go. So. I got to make my... Oh, no, I can scroll down here. There we go. After you spend $5,000 on purchases in the first three months uh, from an account opening, that's 1,000 towards travel rewards, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, you can apply now and earn three points per $1 in the first 150. So, yeah, so here's all this uh, information, three times points, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. Um... That's what he's talking about here. There's a whole range of stuff. Uh, purchasing the car through Plastique qualified for that three-point reward weight, rate. Weight. Um, the Inc. Business Preferred may one day only reward Plastique, blah, blah, uh, the 2.5% fee. Okay, so he paid $1,470 just in the fee that goes to Plastique. And you may be thinking, oh, man, that's a lot. But it earned him nearly 180,000 Chase Ultimate Reward Points. And at minimum, that is uh, $1,800 in value. So you might be thinking, well, where did, where did that come to the 5000 Okay. But it can be worth more than that uh, when it's redeemed for travel. So if uh, good old Keith transferred those points to the right hotel or airline rewards programs... He estimates that that'll be worth as much as $5,000. So in short, the rewards easily make up for the plas Plastique's fee. So, well, then it's, he's not really getting 5000 right? He's getting, what, 3200 because you have to subtract this from this. Oh, whip, sorry. No, you have to subtract this fee from this right here. So, what, uh, th uh 3000 Five hundred and thirty, yeah. So he's not getting five thousand, unless I did my math wrong. All right. What do you need to keep in mind? So if you plan to try this at home, 
In other words, don't do this at home, folks. Do some math to ensure you'll get enough rewards to justify the fee. Some, so in other words, the, the, that 1% of people won't do the math and will get themselves in trouble. Do the research to make sure everything will go smoothly. For instance, Rasa warns that certain cards code plastic purchases as a cash advance. That is a tricky thing. So you do not want to use such cards when playing through plastique. Cash advances are usually accompanied by a fee of around 5%. That's twice more than... <laughs> so this, uh, this right here, that figure, is twice as much. So that fee is like $3,000. That's, that's a lot of money. You know what I could do with $3,000? Fix my computer. That's what I could do. I'm, I'm working on a backup computer right now because I have to fix my main one. I could buy a few of them. I build, I build my own computers. Anyway, um, that'll be another video. <laughs> I'm a video nut. I can come up with all kinds of videos. Uh, where are we? Um, uh, blah, blah. Okay, so buy something as expensive to buy one as a Tesla. You also need a high credit card. Uh, high credit line again that's like one percent of the population of us how many of us have like a really huge high credit line how many of us really want a high credit line i know some of us are thinking oh yeah high credit line think of the things i could buy with it well think of how much your payment would be yeah which can be a perk of a business card. Technically, you need to run a business to qualify for a business card, but the definition of business owner these days can be broader than it may seem. Do you sell items on Amazon, eBay, or Craigslist? Do you teach music or sports? Ever act as a freelance writer or photographer? Um, do you do videos on YouTube? Maybe that's a business. I don't know. I do, you, I do videos. I don't make any money off of them. I probably don't qualify. Ever act as a freelance writer or photographer? If you sell any goods or services, blah, da, 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 da. But Rosso qualified for the Inc. business preferred because of his eBay side hustle. Hustle. Maybe they should have used another word instead of hustle. Sounds like he's hustling people. I don't know if that was a good word to use. And he notes that's what's special about the card is that it offers a high credit limit as well as the option to spend beyond that limit. Man, this is just, like, bad all the way around. You know, this is, like, the whole reason why not to get a credit card. It's, like, um, like interest rates and, oh, hey, we'll let you spend more than that credit limit, too. Uh, anyway, his credit limit was around 37000 but he exceeded it by 23000 Put the entire car payment on the card. But since he and Liz had the funds, see, they had it saved. See, this is where he used the card responsibly. They had the money saved, and they were able to pay the card off in full and didn't have to deal with the extra fees and stuff. So these people were, were smart. I'm going to assume that they don't use credit cards on a regular basis. Um, maybe they use cash. Uh, or they're very, very, very well uh, disciplined. Or they were very well disciplined to get to the point where they're at currently. So uh, in that case, they're, they're very well disciplined to have a credit card. But for the majority of us, um, you may, if you're living paycheck by paycheck, and you use a credit card and you're like, okay, I'll pay it off on my next paycheck. Probably don't want to have a credit card, really. Um, my thing, I probably would say, instead of doing that, set up a debit account and put money on that debit account. Have a savings set up on that account. Set aside a thousand dollars on that debit account because you can set up a debit account that has like a Visa logo on it, right? And it'll earn interest, not a lot, but it'll earn something. And that can be your credit account. When you use that uh, to buy whatever it is that you're going to buy on it, pay it back instead of making the payments to some bank 
you make the payments to yourself. Right? Does that make sense? I think that makes sense to me. You got to save up the money first. So, yeah, so take the money, thousand, you know, wh whatever it is that, you know, that you think you'd be comfortable with, save up the money into that account. And when you use it, be disciplined and make the payments back to it. Right? That's a lot better than trying to pay a bunch of loan sharks known as banks. <laughs> All right. That's my lesson for today. And that's our rambling for today. Well, I hope you uh, liked this video. If so, click like. I appreciate it. And subscribe is always a thing. And other than that, I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to leave a comment. I'm always interested in your comments. See you next time. And if you enjoyed that topic, then you might enjoy my rambles on these topics. I make videos all the time on no particular schedule. Remember, your comments and rambles are also welcome here. Subscribe to get notified of more videos, and thank you for watching.